Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiny Shiny Key, aka Kim Key, and I'm here to talk about perfume. That's what we talk about on this channel, perfume and minimalism and just making a better, prettier, happier life. So if you want to hang out, please subscribe. It helps my channel so, so much. And let's move on to the video. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that doesn't get a whole lot of love in the perfume circles, and it is the soapy scent. And by soapy, what I mean is a scent that smells like you just got out of the shower. It smells like soap. So first up is a Britney fragrance. It is this, this one here, Curious. It's really nice. Yeah. My husband likes it. He says that it smells sexy. I think that it smells summery and warm and like when you take a really nice warm shower after a long day and you've used the good shampoo and we all know what the good shampoo smells like. This smells like the good shampoo. Um, you've treated yourself to some Aveda or something like that and you are clean and happy and that's what this scent smells like to me. You start with a magnolia and a pear and a lotus um, and then dries down to a jasmine and the tuberose. You've got a musky scent. Vanilla is in there apparently. As you can see on the screen, vanilla is there. I don't smell any vanilla in this. I think the combination of the jasmine and the tuberose is what gives it the soapy scent. And that is a winner in my book. I'm a big fan. So Curious by Britney Spears. Try it if you love soapy scents. All right, next up is an old scent. It's an oldie but a goodie. It is White Shoulders. Um, this scent has been around for many, many years. I think this came out in the 60s. I could be wrong. I'll double check on that and put it up on the screen. But this has been around for a long time. You can get it for cheap at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And it smells like a nice soap that you would get at a hotel um, is the best way that I would describe it. If we take a look at the notes, it starts out with aldehydes, which I think is what gives it that really strong opening um, soap scent. Then you've got some African orange flower, some green notes, peach, bergamot. Then in the middle, we've got gardenia, lilac, tuberose, jasmine, lily, lily of the valley, iris, and very oddly named just spices. And then you've got chivetta, oak moss, musk, something else that I don't know how to say, benzoin, don't know what that is, sandalwood, and amber. I smell a lot of sandalwood. To me, this smells like a spa day. It smells like a nice, cool spa day. Um, it's a little bit dated. Let me smell it again. Yeah. It's a little bit dated. It smells pretty strong <laughs> for being a cologne. Um, it'll last quite a while on your skin. Uh, when I want to have a, a nice just out of the shower and I'm lounging around in a hotel bathrobe type of day, and those days have, especially in quarantine, when I can't go to hotels, um, this has been my closest chance to do so. Uh, with white shoulders. So yeah, try it out. It's it's excellent. It's a great scent and it's super, super cheap. So try it. Okay. Next is a scent that I've already reviewed on this channel, um, so you can check that out, but it's Cartier Carrot. And I think one of the big issues that I had with this fragrance when I first got it and when I first reviewed it was that it seemed a little muddled. The flowers, there are seven different flowers to represent the different facets of a diamond. And it was just too much. It was a lot going on in this scent. Um, but what it all muddles down to is this very refreshing, yeah, this very refreshing soapy scent that is very pleasing. It smells sort of like and this is going to be very specific, but it smells sort of like my mom's bathroom um, in the 90s. 
and it smells like the little soaps that the little soaps that I wasn't allowed to use. <laughs> and I think everyone knows those soaps that you're not allowed to use. They're just for show. They were usually in the shape of a seashell of some sort um, or like a seahorse. <laughs> That's what this smells like to me. It smells like a much more expensive version of that. The notes for this are, it opens up with a pear that I don't really get, um, green notes and bergamot. That is not what I really smell in the opening. I smell just soap on the opening. And then it goes to hyacinth, tulip, narcissus, lily, honeysuckle, violet, and liang liang. Um, those seven flowers combined smell like soap to me. And that's what gives it that sort of almost chemically smell. Um, and then it dries down to a mimosa and white musk. And that's what you're left with smelling like is mimosa and white musk. And I think it's pleasurable. I think it's nice. Um, would I buy a full bottle of it? No, I still haven't. Um, again, I don't like to smell like soap all the time, but when I do, this is a good scent for that. All right. So Beautiful Bell by Estee Lauder. What a great scent. This is one that I have in a travel size as well. I got, I didn't know this when I got it, but I ended up getting a gift set of this at TJ Maxx. And it was only, I believe $30 at TJ Maxx. And it, just this bottle here, is normally sold for like a hundred something at Sephora and um, Ulta. So it was a really good deal. But it also came with this little travel guy and I've been using the travel sized one a lot, as you can see. Um, it's got, a, it, it opens up with a nose full of white florals. Um, that's what you nor that's what you are going to mainly smell with this one is white florals. Then the top notes are mimosa, lychee, um, I mostly smell a pretty pink rose with this. I think of being in an English garden and smelling those roses there. That's what it smells to me. A very fresh rose is what I get from this to start. And then it dries down a bit to being tuberose, gardenia, and orange blossom. And tuberose is a common element in these soapy scents and I think that that's the main thing that you're getting when you're getting soapy scents is tuberose. It has that chemically smell that you get from soaps. Um, that's not a bad thing. I like it. The base notes are marzipan, musk, ambroxan, orris, and suede. The suede is pretty prominent in this. I sprayed this on myself this morning when I got out of the shower and um, the suede right now, it's afternoon time and the suede is really coming through. It's not a heavy leather scent. It does smell like suede. Um, so they got that really right. This is a beautifully blended perfume. It's nice, it's something that I think you could wear for every day. It's a great office scent. It's not offensive. You're not going to have anybody going, ooh, oh God, what are you wearing? And you're also not going to have a whole lot of people going, ooh, what are you wearing? You're, you're not going to get a ton of compliments from this perfume because it smells like you. It smells like the way that we all imagine <laughs> that uh, a pretty woman is going to smell. If you're looking for a very nice sort of sweet scent that is also soapy. Beautiful Belle. So that is the extent of my soapy perfumes. I don't have a ton of them. I own quite a few perfumes. I don't own a lot of soap scents because that's just not something that I want to smell like every single day. Um, but I want to smell like it enough that I have four different scents that suit me. Um, if you're looking for other scents that are very, that are quite soapy and have a really nice um, longevity, I suggest uh, Glow by Jennifer Lopez. That has a good fresh out of the shower scent to it. Uh, White Tea by Elizabeth Arden is excellent. And um, Blanche, I think it's, it's pronounced this way, by Byredo 
is another great fresh out of the shower, soapy, um, sort of detergenty scent. My favorite of the four that I showed you today, probably Beautiful Belle when it comes to looking for something to wear fresh out of the shower. Something, it's a very good morning scent. I find it very invigorating, actually. So you might find that invigorating too. Um, what I like to wear for my evening shower, because I love to bathe, <laughs> just FYI, is uh, this one, Curious by Britney Spears. I think that it's a great nighttime scent. I showed this in my bedtime scents reviews already, so you'll be familiar with this already, but, um, or if you haven't watched it, go back and watch that one, um, because I touched on a lot of great scents that I think can send you to bed feeling good. Um, they don't necessarily smell like soap, but they smell great. This one smells like soap. So if you want to be soapy and you want bedtime, curious. Um, if you want mornings, Beautiful Bell. If, if you want a good office scent that's not offensive at all, Cartier, Carrot. And if you want to smell like um, your grandma's sheets, that nice, comforting, clean smell, then try White Shoulders. I think that's, that wraps it up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments what soapy smells do you love and why do you love these soapy smells like are they comforting are they clean is that why you love them just let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you okay thank you bye